poet David Henry Thoreau once wrote, I cannot make my days longer, so I strive to make them better. During this campaign, we here at Carver have had the opportunity to make our high school days better. During this campaign, I've had the opportunity to speak to many of you about your concerns. I spoke with freshman Eliza Ramirez, who feels alienated from her own homeroom. I also spoke with sophomore Reggie Banks, whose mother works in the cafeteria and cannot afford to buy him enough spiral notebooks for all his classes. I won't bore you with long-winded promises about the new and innovative things I definitely will achieve during my presidency. But I can tell you, during my years in student council, I've learned the three attributes a president needs to possess. Commitment, qualification, and experience. I'll add one more, caring. I care about Carver, and I care about each and every one of you. During my year as president, I will try to establish an open forum where students can come and voice their concerns. Also, I will work with the student council to help keep a constant dialogue with faculty and staff. When you vote for Tracy Flick next week, you won't just be voting for me. You'll be voting for you and your fellow students. We can't make our days longer, but we sure can make them better. Poet David Henry Thier once wrote, I cannot make my days longer, so I strive to make them better. With this election, we here at Carver have had the opportunity to make our high school days better. During this campaign, I've had the opportunity to speak with many of you about your concerns. I spoke with freshman Eliza Ramirez, who feels alienated from her own homeroom. I also spoke with sophomore Reggie Banks whose mother works in the cafeteria and can't afford to buy him enough spiral books for all his classes. I'm not going to bore you with long-winded promises and new innovative things I will definitely achieve during the year as your president. But I will tell you that during my years in student council, I've learned the three most important attributes a president needs to possess. Commitment, qualification, and experience. And I'll add one more, caring. I care about Carver, and I care about each and every one of you. During my presidency, I hope to establish an open forum where students can come and voice their concerns. Also, I work with the student council to keep a constant dialogue with each and every staff and faculty member. When you vote for Tracy Flip next week, you won't just be voting for me. You'll be voting for each and every one of you. We can't make our days longer, but we sure can make them better. Wake up in the morning feeling like Poet Henry David Thero once wrote, I cannot make my days longer, so I strive to make them better. With this election, we here at Carver have had the opportunity to make our high school days better. During this campaign, I've had the opportunity to speak with many of you about your concerns. I spoke with freshman Eliza Ramirez, who feels alienated from her own homeroom. I also spoke with sophomore Reggie Banks, whose mother works in the cafeteria and can't afford enough spiral notebooks for all his classes. I won't bore you with long-winded promises about the new and innovative things I definitely will achieve during my presidency at Carver. But I will tell you that during my years in student council, I've learned the three attributes a president must possess. Commitment, qualifications, and experience. And I'll add one more thing, caring. I care about Carver, and I care about each and every one of you. During my presidency, I hope to establish an open forum where students can come and voice their concerns. The student council will work to establish a constant dialogue with the faculty and staff. When you vote for Tracy Flick next week, you won't just be voting for me. You'll be voting for yourself and everyone at Carver. We can't make our days longer, so we better make them better. <laughs>